I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will discuss with you how to write domain and range of piecewise function. In fact, we will take three different types of examples. Now, here is the first one where we will have scattered points. Now, let us say we have few points on a function. Well, this is not continuous, we are just taking some points at random. And let us say that the coordinate values of these points are given to us. Let's say the coordinate value of this point is 3 comma 4, for this point is 1 comma 2, and here we have minus 1, 2, and then we have minus 2, 1. Let us say this function is set of four points. Now, how will you write domain and range for this function? So that is the question which we need to answer. So that is x-axis and y-axis. Now for such a function, domain is set of x values. So we can write domain as d of x as equal to within curly brackets, which gives you set of elements, x values, which is minus 2, minus 1, 1, and 3, right? So these four x values become part of domain. How about range? Set of y values is the range for this function and that is 1, 2, 2 and 4. So we can write 1, 2, no need to repeat 2, it is should be written only once, so it is 1, 2 and 4. So that becomes the range for the given function. So that is how you can write domain and range of a function which is kind of a scatter plot where we give you a few points. Now let's consider another kind of piecewise function. Uh, now in this case, I will introduce you to a function with some holes, that means a discontinuity. So let us say it starts from this point and it is up to this point. And this, these two points are included. And on the other hand, we have two points which are not included but that's a segment kind of like this. Now this is just to give you a few ideas about how the functions could be. Let us say this coordinate points here are, let's say the x value is minus 4 and the y value is plus 1. In this case let the y value be 2 and x value be minus 1. For this function, let us say that the y value is minus 2. The x value of course is 0 here and let this x value be 5. Now how are you going to write domain range for this function? So let us look into it. What are the x values which the function can have? It can have values between minus 4 and minus 1, both included and also between 0 and 5, but 0 and 5 are not included. So we can say in this case that domain is set of real numbers. We can say x belongs to real numbers. However, the condition here is that x is greater than equal to, since it includes minus 4, but is less than equal to minus 1. So that is one part. And or you, we can write union, x could also be between minus 2 and 5. So we say an x is greater than minus 2 but less than 5. Sorry, greater than 0, sorry. Greater than 0 and less than 5. So that becomes the domain for this function. So we have included all the values between minus 4 and minus 1, including these two points, and here between 0 and 5, not including 0 and 5. Other alternate way of writing this domain could have been like this. Square brackets means include from minus 4 to minus 1, union, and these brackets means do not include from 0 to 5 means point 0 and 5 are not included but everything in between is included. So that's an alternate way of writing the domain. Let us write down the range for this function. 
So range for this function can be written as y belongs to real numbers and for y we see that the values are between 1 and 2 both 1 and 2 are included so we can say it's greater than so let me write 1 y value is greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equals to 2 and also y is equals to minus 2 and also minus 2 right so these are the values of y which are part of range for the given function right so that is how we can write domain and range so at times domain and range can be written as combination so this is what I wanted to highlight with the help of this example now let's take one more example here and in this case I will take a function which is let us say kind of like this this point is included is going like this that means all the x values greater than or equal to 0 are included now here this value is not included but it is kind of like this now in this case we find that the function is discontinuous but all x values are included so here the domain for the function is x belongs to real numbers there is no restriction on the domain however range is restricted so range is y belongs to real numbers so that y is greater than equal to 0 that is this part right and y is equal to let us say this is minus 1 y equals to minus 1 just as we had here right so that is how we could write domain and range for this given function. I hope with this example you appreciate that domain and range could be combination as we are given here, right? Here is a test problem for you. So let me sketch one and then you have to write domain and range for this function. So this point, I'll just label these points. Let us say this point is minus 5 and here we have minus 3. This point is 4. Here, of course, it is the origin and the coordinates for this point. Let me write down here also. It is 2. Let us say this point is minus 2. And this point B, 6, 3. Now, for this particular function, you have to write domain and range. Use your knowledge, which you have learned here in this example, and write down domain and range for the given function. Thank you and all the best.